Once upon a time, there lived a child named Peach Taro, who was born from a peach gel. What's this all of a sudden? Sophie said she wanted to act in a play, so I wrote a script for her. Really? You wrote it? Have no fear, Grandpa and Grandma. I shall slay the evil monster that is destroying our village. On his journey, Peach Taro met some monster-fighting companions. Peach Taro? Will you give Meow one of the peach gels on your back, Meow? Sure, I'll give you one of the peach gels if you help me slay the monster. Mr. Chicken became Peach Taro's first companion. Wait, he just said Meow twice. He's supposed to be a cat, right? Just shut up and watch. Peach Taro! Like, give Yun me a peach gel. If you do, I'll be your friend, Yun. And so Miss Onion became his next companion. Huh? Miss Onion? Next came Mr. Cow, then Mr. Carrot, and then Miss Leek. His final companion was Mr. White Rice. Uh, what? Now I'm going to cook up a delicious egg and beef bowl for Grandpa and Grandma. And so Peach Taro went back to his grandparents. However, the chicken turned out to be a rooster, so there weren't any eggs. And in the end, he just made an ordinary beef bowl. The end. The end? What happened to the monster that was attacking the village? How should I know? But you said they had to fight a monster. Uh, much later, the monster became a chef and opened a wildly successful restaurant. But that is another story. Huh? Captain Malik, can you tell us a story about your past? About me? Oh, I don't really have any interesting stories. I want to hear one too. You grew up here in Zaffert, right? Hmm, an old story, huh? Well, there's one I remember when I see falling snow. It's about the day I met Kurt. I had taken my father's gun outside with me. We lived in a world of kill or be killed, where one could be attacked before he even spoke. Everyone had to protect and fend for themselves. Goodness, the city sounds dangerous. Anyway, I went to my favorite store, and that's when I saw him. You mean... Kurt? Right. The instant I laid eyes on him, I knew he was different, and a bitter sense of rivalry began to burn deep within me. I knew that if I didn't take him down, he'd just take me down instead someday. We stared for an instant, and then I drew my gun, but the trigger was stuck fast, and I wasn't able to pull it. A narrow escape for the both of us, was all he said. If we had kept at it like that, who knows what would have happened. Wow. And that was the story of Malik Caesar's third winter. You were three? You must have been at least 20. Who said anything about 20? That was great. There's plenty more where that came from, like the time when I was five. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. Great bath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Sophie, that's kind of crude. But it feels good to pound a cold one right when you get out of the bath. What have I told you about speaking with Captain Malik? Wow, you guys smell awesome! We just got out of the bath. Ugh, Pascal, you smell really foul. I agree. You should really take a bath. <laughs> Even Sophie's saying it now! It's no joke. The water temperature is perfect, so just get in. Yeah, but I'm in the middle of important research and stuff right now. You can finish your research later. I can also take a bath later. <sighs> Pascal sure works hard at running away, doesn't she? She's gone again. Today is the day we make a stand. She will get into this bath. Hold it right there! Everyone stay on your game! Uh, I guess I gotta fight her. Uh, whatever. Aim! Yeah! And swing! Thunder surge! Frozen rain! Asa! And swing! Lightning come forth! And swing! Ha! 
Not too tough. Pascal, just give up already. All right, you caught me. So for your reward, I'll go take a bath with you. Ta-da! I just got out of the bath, and now I'm covered in sweat. Why? Why do I have to work so hard for something this trivial? It's been a thousand years since Lambda returned to Fodra. Did Lambda say something? Well, he said he didn't want to come back. And yet, we forced him to return. Yeah. But he said being back did help him remember some fun and happy times. It sounds like it wasn't all bad. That's good. Except he also said it feels isolated since no one else is around. I could see that. In times of sorrow, turn to me! There's a strange man here. Oh, hey! It's you! The, uh... Um, what do you think you are- I am the Mask of Baruna! When someone is lonely, all should dance and sing! Now come, Lambda! Dance with me! He has Richard's voice. Richard? Huh. Where is Richard, anyway? Can Asbel and Sophie possibly be this clueless? Yeah, I bid you good day! Uh, hey! Where are you going? Why'd you even come here? Hello there. Richard, there you are. Where have you been? You wouldn't believe it. I was trapped under a pile of rubble. I extricated myself, but then all this dust started and... Why is he making such elaborate excuses? It looks like fun to be a cat not having any responsibilities. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Even I envy them sometimes. Then why don't you guys try turning into cats with this Felinia Tour 4000? Felin what? Here we go! Wait! I'm a... Wait, I'm not a cat! What? Are we cats? I often find myself wondering about that. Are cats cats, or are cats people? If they were real cats, they wouldn't need to spell the name all funny. Cats aren't cats or people. They're their own kind of creature. That's what the cats say. Stay focused on us, guys. Captain? Asbel? You're cute. <laughs> they do make fine cats, particularly Malik. You honor me, sire. Aren't you going to put on a bathing suit, Richard? I'm sure you could borrow one at the check-in counter. No, I'm afraid it's not appropriate for royalty to be seen wearing revealing clothing, such as swimsuits. I didn't know that. Man, it must be tough being royalty. Do you truly believe such a custom actually exists? Perhaps Richard has a deeper reason for declining. A deeper reason? Uh, like what? Well, 
Perhaps he simply doesn't know how to swim. Oh, that wouldn't be deep at all. Who says he can't swim? Believe it or not, His Majesty once won a prize in the youth division of the Grailside Swimming Championships. Grailside? Those are tough. But Richard just said that royalty can't be seen wearing swimsuits. He swam in the same royal regalia he's wearing now. He swam in that? <sighs> I can't stand it. It's so humid. The mountains must funnel the sea air into this location. But Lant is right by the sea too, and it never gets humid like this there. That's cause the cold water currents around Lant stabilize the atmospheric pressure and keep the rain away. Ah, so that's what keeps Lant and Barona so much drier than it is out here. <laughs> what was that? Dude, weird! That's how Sharia looks when she wakes up in the morning! Hey, what happened? I heard someone scream! The excessive moisture made Sharia's hair go all... Scal, don't tell him that! Sharia, are you okay? No! Stay back! Don't look at me! <laughs> Pascal, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Pascal crying? Have heaven and earth been torn asunder? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> I'm chopping onions! <laughs> now? How could you possibly feel a need to chop onions in a place like this? Why do you cry when you chop onions? When you chop an onion, it cries itty bitty onion tears because it's all hurt! So then I feel bad and start crying too! Onions can feel pain? In times of pain, turn to me! <laughs> Who's that? Who? It's King Richard! I am the Mask of Verona! Use these goggles and this clothespin when you chop onions! Mm, it's hard to breathe! Let me try a little more! Dude, Richard, it totally did the trick! I'm honored, dude. I'm, um, I mean, I am the Mask of Verona! When trouble calls, just call me! I bid you good day! Bye bye! It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Oh, you look so different now, Pascal. You look just like Hubert. I guess. Dear brother, how long must you persist behaving in such an inappropriate fashion? Right. Right. Huh, <laughs> she's flipping the camera off. Uh, anyway, hold on. The Rock Gagong truly is an enormous creature. I can't believe there's this much space inside it. Like Uzmek the Gigantoid. Uzmek? I read those books when I was a child too, but this... This is much larger than Uzmek. So you know of Uzmek? I should have expected no less from an esteemed general of Strata. Please stop. It's not that big of a deal. Uzmek was around 20 meters in length, right? Yes. They seem to be enjoying themselves. They have no idea what we went through in here. It's all fun and games to them. Hey, can we get out of here already? Not quite yet. Your Highness. Forgive us, Sharia. We're at a critical juncture right now. Anyway, I saw a depiction of the Uzmek's internal cavity and it had about this much space! That wasn't official canon. They were just playing it up. What could Richard and Hubert find so fascinating in here? Alright, here I am back in this hellish dungeon. This will probably be the last thing I do before I uh, take on the final boss. Anyway. Little tippity tap tap is all it takes. Simple. Really? Oh. Hilda. That is. 